Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your reading for October 2024. I had to think about it for a second. Um, this is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, those intuitively guided. Thank you for paying attention to your intuition. Um, you could certainly have planets in the sign of Sagittarius. You could be in love with the Sagittarius platonically, romantically. And I just want to remind you that um, I really do invite my spirit guides in for our readings. And I definitely feel they connect to yours. So, you know, while we're getting ready, I would definitely say this is a great time to just ask your guides for confirmation. Um, you know, whether it just be a feeling like if this is for me, let me feel it. You know, let me feel it deeply. Goosebumps. Um, certain numbers you could certainly ask them to say names I mean you know um, but then just kind of let go of control and go with the flow um, so Sagittarius we are doing opposites again for October um, and what I mean by that is we'll do your sign and then your opposite sign which is Gemini um, and, and the reason why, you know, first of all, I felt guided to do it last month. Really wasn't even sure, you know, what it was going to look like. But after doing a full month of it, I get it. Like, I could see the synchronicities between the two. And remember, um, oftentimes our opposite sign can be, you know, areas that we lack, things that we can learn from, and vice versa, both ways. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I'm doing an opposite sign. You may never even watch a Gemini reading, um, but then you watch it and you're like, okay, I can see that tying together with Sagittarius. By the way, you had one hell of a good reading last month uh, for September, and um, I'm hoping that it's only going to lift from there. That's, that's my hope for the reading. Of course, I'm going to let go of control. Let whatever wants to be, be. Um, but let's talk about the cards we're going to be using. So this is called the Divine Celestial Tarot. And this we'll use this deck. It's a kind of a miniature. Um, for like a second clarifier, if needed. We are going to use the Romance Angels. Kind of like I use the Mass. Or I use the... Um, Major Arcanas for September. Well, this month I'm going to use the Romance Angels. And um, this is a deck that I have missed. I left back in Rhode Island when I moved to PA. Um, and then a company reached out and wanted to work with me. So this is one of the decks they had. And I'm like, I have to get that deck again. So the Romance Angels Oracle. And again, we're only going to use them for like bullet points. We're going to use Mother Mary for her beautiful words of wisdom. The Gilded Tarot to clarify or really to go deeper. That's what we want to do. We want to go deep. We have to know where you've been, where you're at, so we know where you're going. That type of, that's where reading, you know, let's just say an in-depth reading that's what it's about it's like allowing your story to unfold and sometimes that takes time um for your main spread the universal tarot really jumped out at me and by the way for your opposites i'm going to use the same set of decks um of course shuffled but everything is always pre-shuffled um okay so let's officially open up this reading and Let's start with Mother Mary. Let's get her beautiful words of wisdom for my beautiful Sagittarians. Mother guided. You know, that's another thing about my readings. I really feel like, even though I have to put like a time stamp on them, I really feel like they will find you in divine timing, like just when you need it. Um, you know, when you're willing and able to put your spiritual ears on. So, let's go ahead and open this up. Sagittarius. 
By the way, the reason I'm doing these a little early is I am planning on taking a break um, in October. Not for the whole month, but we'll see. I'm going to play it by ear. Um, it's another reason why those who are looking for a personal reading, you want to get them in soon. You know, I'm not going to leave anyone hanging. Um, but you do want to get them in soon because I am now booking um, into early October. All right. Mother Mary, Grace. Grace. Why do I feel like you get this card a lot? Grace. I am, I am filled with the same beauty, poise, and divine perfection as all of God's other creatures. Grace might be a reminder to oneself, you know, that you're just as important as anyone else here on this earth. I am filled with the same beauty, poise, and divine perfection as God's other creatures. All right, and we will read that at the end from the book. We're going to go ahead and bring the lid down. And let's go ahead and start with the Romance Angels. Could give them a shuffle or two. Again, everything's always pre-shuffled. I do this for you. Let's give them a cut. One thing I noticed about this deck is it's like they trimmed it. They're smaller than they used to be. <laughs> All right. And this is not to make this reading just a love reading, but I swear love comes out in every reading, so why not get the bullet points on it before we even begin? Whoa, that baby went flying. Playfulness. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. Let me reread that. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Playfulness. Nice. To me, that's, that's a good omen. You know, doesn't feel serious. Um... Probably romantic. Well, wow. wedding. The end of a Billy, not Billy. I was going to say Billy Idish, Billy Idol. White wedding. This situation involves marriage. Interesting wedding. Playfulness. Is that your wedding? Is that someone else's wedding? It's interesting because I did a no contact reading. And um, it definitely talked about someone going to like a wedding or that type of celebration. And someone unexpected coming up to them and approaching them um, in a romantic way. So could it be? Maybe. Um, finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay. Let's do one more. Hmm. Maybe some of you have been married. And maybe the um, playful part of that has gone to the wayside. All right, we have very soon, very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Clearly decide what it is that you want so it comes to you now. Think of like the law of attraction. What I think about, I bring about. Okay, we got quite a few. Flirt, well, that goes with playfulness. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Flirt and express your love. 
go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Interesting. I'm going to put all these up there. I was not planning on taking that many, but whatever wanted to come out. All right. So playfulness, wedding, finances, and career. Very soon, deciding what you want. Clearly deciding what you want so that it comes to you now. Flirt. Extend your, your light-hearted energy to others. And then express your love. Ex go ahead and make that romantic gesture. Especially mirroring playfulness. Mm. It makes me feel good because I feel like you're feeling good. Now, some of you, I definitely feel like you may be connected with someone where, um, you know, maybe the, the love, the joy, the togetherness doesn't quite feel the same. You know, could just talk about like saving this marriage, potentially. But at the same time, I, I just get this feeling someone's looking, you know, and when I see wedding, let's just call that a commitment. All right. Well, let's bring in the Universal Tarot and this is going to be your main spread. Let's give them a cut. Let's begin. We open with the Six of Wands. Well, that's victory and success. You know what else I love about the Six of Wands is it, wow. And then we have the Hermit, Heart of Virgo. But it's interesting because the hermit's looking back at this person in the Six of uh, Wands. And to me, the Six of Wands really speaks about lessons that I've learned. Um, it's where other people are really looking up to you because of action steps that you've taken. And then the hermit is like shining that beacon of life. So for some of you, I could definitely see like, you know, whether it's a spiritual turn I'm turning more to my spirituality or you are actually creating a spiritual based business. I feel like what's this is also saying that some of you have gone through that energy of like the dark night of the soul. And I can just mean like, you know, again, it, let's say that this this wedding is talking about a current relationship, um, but things just I don't know, I kind of feel like have dried up and died. Um, but I'm thinking about my future. Well, this is really calling on you to use your wisdom, the wisdom you've gained from these experiences. You know, I feel like when the hermit goes through the dark night of the soul, but the hermit's really, is he's seeking answers, right, on this physical plane. But, it can also be like seeking the way out um, because I feel like what the hermit ultimately finds in that dark night of the soul is that I am the light. I am my own savior, right? I've always had that light within me, even if other people have dimmed it. So I feel like this is definitely calling for you to use that wisdom. Well, hello, Ace of Cups. Interesting to love. I think I'm going to do five across and do two rows instead of the other way. Since we have so many romance angels, we have the King of Swords. Well, that could be your opposite. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This King's coming right out next to the Ace of Cups. It's also coming under the energy of very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. 
And if that's relating to love, first of all, I feel like this Ace of Cups isn't just relating to romantic love. I feel like it's also relating to you and like feeling good about you, you know, learning to love yourself and even trust yourself. Some of you, this could be a new path that is kind of showing itself. So this King of Swords comes out next to the Ace of Cups. So let's talk about the King of Swords in the upright and kind of forget about the sign for a second. This is someone who would be a good communicator. Um, maybe not always, but that may have been part of their life lesson was really learning how to communicate in a, I almost want to say like a universal way. I don't know why. Um, but this is also someone in the upright who has integrity, you know, speaks the truth. And therefore, I feel like would only demand the truth back. We have the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Mirroring the Six of Wands. Victory and success. Um, this is, this is, this really looks nice if you're working from home. You know, not just loving what you do, even if it does mean work. But, you know, when you love what you do, it's like putting work in. It's like sometimes I feel like Sam has to pull me away from my work. You know what I mean? Because I love what I do. It's making me feel even more that the hermit's energy looking back at victory and success. Um... It's, it's making me feel, how do I want to say, like, um, like I can trust this path. Especially if you feel inspired. Because, again, the Six of Wands, it's inspired energy. Um, it's someone who's talking from their inspiration, from the things that they have learned. You know, like, how did you get there? How did you overcome? Let's say some of you could have certainly been in a marriage or in a relationship where it just kind of died out um and maybe you had to make that choice do i stay or do i go we have the four of swords healing i feel like that's you like that's you becoming the natural healer it's like you allowing that part of yourself out First of all, I feel like you had to go through it, right? You had to learn to heal oneself. But now it feels like, like this is connected to your success. And I kind of love with the hermit there. You know, I feel like when we see the Four of Swords, which again represents, you know, it can represent rest and rejuvenation um, because the Four of Pentacles can certainly talk about like really becoming grounded, um, becoming grounded even in your success. But then the Four of Swords feels like the energy that's helping to feed that. Some of you, I feel like, you know, your money or what it is you do in the world feels like it's becoming, um, let's just say, more stable. And now I feel like this could potentially be asking you now to open up 
another part of yourself, and that is your playfulness, the inner child within you. Because I feel like, I feel like money-wise, listen, if you're not feeling it yet, I feel like as long as you're willing to, um, first of all, I feel like take on that name, the healer, because I feel like that's who you are. And it doesn't have to mean that you do it for a living. It just feels like it's what becomes your natural energy. Why? Because you've been there. You've done that. You've overcome that. And now in the Six of Wands, I feel like that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm helping other people, um, whether I do for a living or it just, you know, other people are drawn to me. Well, hello, Nine of Cups. Beautiful. So under the Hermit is the Nine of Cups. So the Nine of Cups speaks about inner harmony. Um, a lot of times I do feel like it's singular energy. So again, some of you could have been in a relationship and, you know, that may have ended. You may still be going through like the financial parts of it. Um, but I feel like this is saying, but there's something else on the horizon. So I feel like if you're ready to put something behind you, or you have put something behind you and you know you found this inner harmony because i feel like it's important especially if it's going to relate to love because let's face it the nine of cups is also about a fulfillment of a wish or fulfillment of wishes and coming below the hermit i feel like spirituality check mark And then we have the Knight of Swords. Look at him rushing in. So interesting, we have the King of Swords next to the Ace of Cups. And let's just take the sign out of it for a second, because this is a communicator. This is someone who, um, you know, it's interesting because your last card expressed your, your love. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. What almost feels like the King is. So I often feel like the knights are sent from the queen or the king. And we have this king here. So this could relate to, you know, someone that you already know. Um, but it doesn't have to. Because again, it could just relate to you now moving into like more playful type energy. And you are thinking about what you're thinking about. You know, it, because it almost feels like I have... Like, I'm feeling stronger and stronger within my, let's just say, financial situation. Doesn't mean I'm rich, but I feel like I found my path. And um, I definitely feel, you know, nines can talk about cycles. So I feel like the energy of the hermit, that is a cycle that's coming to an end. And now you're just using that wisdom, you know. Maybe even teaching other people that they themselves carry their light, carry a light. So I find it interesting that then we come into the Nine of Cups. First healing, which is beautiful. That makes sense that we would then move into inner harmony. So it's healing of oneself. It's healing of that inner child. And then communication coming in. It's a coming in under the Ace of Cups. Right to you. And again, if we look at that Nine of Cups as not just inner harmony, but also fulfillment of wishes, well... This another king, King Wands. Now that could be you. Um, could be another Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. We have hello, Ace of Wands, inspired action. Wow, you know, this Ace of Wands is mirroring this Four of Swords, this healing period, and this can talk about like a period of time that I've just kind of retreated. And I worked on myself, right? 
I learned how to heal the past and, you know, the things that broke me, you know, whatever took me into the dark night of the soul. I found a way to understand it and really to heal it and to let it be, you know, kind of let it go. And I feel like that's what's bringing you into that nine of cups energy. But I love the ace of swords mirroring that four of swords because I feel that with you like for. And really that ace of swords is sharing two fours. To me, that's stability. All right, what else do we have? Well, hello, temperance. There's your major arcana. And I was not going to take as many cards, but we'll take it like this. Well, hello, ace of pentacles. You have three aces. So it's interesting because your last reading was so great um, that I really had hoped that this was even a step above. So three aces. Ace of cups. Love. But first, I feel like it's a love. You know, it's a love for you again. Doesn't mean you're perfect, right? Nobody's perfect. But it's like accepting all parts of yourself. Knowing all parts of yourself. And when you know all parts of yourself, let's say like the nasty part of you starts to come out, but it's not really what you want. I feel like it, it puts you, you have so much more control than maybe what you used to. So anyways, the Ace of Pentacles talks about something is coming into your physical world. And right now it's mirroring the Ace of Cups with the Knight of Swords in between. And then look at this, your spiritual team calling you to the present moment. There's about to be a rebirth. There's about to be a rebirth. And listen, Ace of Pentacles right before that, not only is it about a rebirth, it's about something that's coming into your physical world. Now, when I see the Ace of Pentacles, I, I don't know why I always see this one as like a seed. And with this seed, I can either love it, nurture it, grow it, and let it be all that it can be. Or I can just say no and let it dry up and die. It's really up to me. Um, but Temperance really speaks about, number one, patience. So I wouldn't be surprised if some of you have like, spent some time alone. But I don't feel like that was wasted time because I feel like it, it allowed you, you know what? I feel like it's just like coming back to yourself, like being who you truly are and no excuses for it. Like loving who you are. And maybe that's what temperance has been waiting for. This is about divine timing, right? But it is patience. But yet then you get judgment, which is call is calling you to the present moment. That means something's happening soon, right? It's like signs coming in, like these aces. You're going to feel them. They're coming in. What you going to do? What you going to do when they come for you? So interesting. Interesting that temperance is also mirroring judgment, your spiritual team. Um, you know, what follows judgment? The world. The next chapter. The most spiritual time in my life. We have the devil on the bottom of the deck, card of Capricorn. You know, if you look at this image, though, there's like two lovers here. But they're being influenced by, let's just say, darker energy. Almost like they feel trapped. But it is an illusion. It's an illusion that we tell ourselves. You know, it speaks about temptation. And for some of you, you know, it, it may be like looking back and see, okay, like if I've been attracted to like a certain type of person um, that just keeps seeming, to, keeps seem, they keep seeming to let you down. Do I feel trapped within a situation? That's an illusion. Doesn't mean it's easy to find your way out, but it's possible. 
Look at this, the sun underneath that. Wow. It's like it's like the light and the dark. Which am I gonna follow? Which am I gonna feed? Alright, let's go ahead and bring the Gilded Chiro in. And let's just go ahead and go deeper. I love that Temperance is also marrying the Hermit. So again, the wisdom that you're learning from this lifetime. And it's really about even past lifetimes. But each lifetime has its own lessons. And I feel like you're learning them. And that Ace of Pentacles kind of feels like your reward, like good karma. But also, you're being called into the present moment. Another reason why, go ahead and make the romantic gesture, right? Extend your lighthearted energy towards others. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes in now. Well, you have a lot of now type of energy on the board. All right, let's go ahead and start at the beginning. But of course, read it as a whole. All right, we have the strength card, card of Leo. Um, this is really about that willingness to go deep within oneself. You know, it's the understanding that I am light, I am dark, I am masculine, I am feminine. You know, this is also the overcoming, let's say, of energy that you've been tempted to that just doesn't work out. But now I feel like you know that. Eight is also about a new beginning. Number of infinity as above, so below. You know, to me, that's just a signal that you're not alone. You are being guided. That this may be the time for, like, allowing this new beginning to take place. You know, the strength card, really what you figure, you're, you're finding courage within that energy. All right. Mm, eight of Wands. What I think about, I bring about. It's also fast moving energy. Interesting, it's mirroring temperance, which her message is patience. But now I feel like you have been. You know, like. You definitely feel like you're coming out of the dark night of the soul with a lot of clarity. Even healing. Doesn't mean you're completely healed, you know. I I feel like certain scars remain, but maybe they're there to remind us, right, not to go back. Another eight, by the way, 88. Beautiful. Three of Wands over the Ace of Cups. Wow. Right there, it's like I'm letting go of exactly what this Ace of Cups must look like to me. What it must be. Who it must be. This is me trusting more in the universe. This is someone who's living in the present moment. And they have an optimistic view about their future. About this Ace of Cups. But. It's also mirroring the Ace of Pentacles. So it, it is like you're telling the universe, I know my ships will come in. I know that in their due time. And in the meantime, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. We have the Six of Pentacles over the King of Swords. And then, beautiful, we have the Chariot. 
First of all, card of cancer. Interesting, we have cancer and Leo, neighbors mirroring each other. And, you know, I say that because I don't know why, but lately I've been feeling like, like people that we're going to fall in love with, like they live in our own neighborhood. And maybe they are our neighbors. So the chariot really speaks about unlimited potential. Now, coming over the Four of Pentacles, the only fear within that is in the Four of Pentacles, I can be pretty resistant to other people's ideas, even spiritual ideas, right? Because the Six of Wands is right underneath it. So that is inspired action. It's telling you it's safe to grab this, right? This is about new sprouts, new beginnings. So that's the only thing I would say with that. But other than that, the chariot is really led by your intentions. Well, the eight of wands, those are your intentions. So if I have a limited viewpoint, then my chariot's going to have a limited viewpoint. If I believe all is possible, then my chariot's going to believe all is possible. If the six of pentacles coming over the king of swords... Six of Pentacles is really that fine art of give and take. Um, I feel like the person in the Six of Pentacles is usually someone who's compassionate. You know, um, can give a hand, like easily wants to give a hand out, a hand up to help those. It can talk about unbalanced energy, though. You know, where one was a giver, like I tend to give, 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 but... I, I don't know, I'm not receiving or I'm not allowing myself to be open to receive. And that may be another reason why we have playfulness. There's a lot of like flirt, a lot of like just lighthearted type of energy. So the King of Sword may, it may be a lesson that that the King himself has learned. All right, well, let's keep going. We might come back and clarify the kings even further. Um, because I feel like they're going to be different people. And look at that. We got the king again. All right. Mm, ten of swords over the four of swords. Okay. Well, I feel like that kind of ties back to temptation. So I may have been drawn to the wrong type of people. And it may have been for quite a bit of period in my life. Could you be like tying myself to one person who is not giving me the love and respect I deserve? I don't feel like this is you continuing in that energy because it's coming over healing. So this can certainly talk about repeat patterns, you know, dagger after dagger in your back so it makes sense that some change would want to happen and then that you would even want this change i don't feel like this is something that remains because again it's coming over the four swords so the healing of that but listen maybe i needed to like just examine the people that are around me you know what type of person do i keep attracting to myself and now that I know that, I'll do better. You know what I mean? Then we get this King of Swords again. Interesting. That kind of took him out of the limelight. But let's see what follows him. Shouldn't have said that because, really, he's coming over the Nine of Cups. And Temperance is right below him. Or her. Hello, Knight of Cups. Unexpected couple fulfillment. Well, it's mirroring the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of 
cups and it's coming over at the Knight of Swords. So this is about communication coming in. This is, you know, something loving. And then the Seven of Pentacles. Interesting. Because I feel like the Seven of Pentacles is an energy that's really meant to be. Like, I feel like this tree is a tree that holds your soul's intentions. Like, the different things that you wanted to experience in this lifetime. You know, it's almost like I can say, before I came into this lifetime, like, I want to experience all forms of love. Um... You know, so that when this great love finds me, I know the difference. Um, and then I feel like, you know, we can't know all the details, but we can put that intention out there. So I often feel the Seven of Pentacles is something that is meant to be. And this Knight of Cups coming right into it. First of all, it's coming over some form of communication, but it's loving communication. You know, King of Swords is sending it out. So this King of Swords, again, forget about the sign. It may just talk about the person, like a good communicator, um, someone who's got integrity. And I feel like, listen, if you've been through those 10 swords, that is important. Right, that you have someone who um, is a good communicator, does speak the truth. We have, interesting, the Five of Pentacles coming out with the Five of Wands. Wow. So, two fives. Fives to me speak about change. But in a way, I kind of feel like this is a change I want. Or change that I did want. So the Five of Pentacles can feel like that energy of being thrown onto the cold. You know, something may have happened that maybe, you know, at that time period, it's not something you really asked for. But it's probably going to serve you. You know, tenfold. And then the five of wands next to it, that's a lot of ego. That's fighting. Um, and I feel like, you know, it can certainly talk about getting pulled into other people's drama. But it's coming over judgment like, uh-uh. Don't, don't allow that to happen. Don't allow yourself to get pulled down. Especially because you open this reading up with true success and healing of the past. So, you know, someone could have certainly hurt you. And in that time being, you may have thought, well, my life sucks. But I feel like in the Five of Pentacles, I don't really have the luxury of just crying in my bed. I have to keep moving. And I feel like whoever or whatever was, let's just say, cut out of your life, so to speak, even if I didn't ask for it, boy, I feel like the universe is kind of doing you a favor. Especially with the 10 right there. And then these two fives. You know, one of these fives feels like someone I may have been with who is like their way or the highway. And the other one, it's like, you know, if I expect them to back down, if I expect apologies, I'm probably not going to find it. I feel like in the five of wands, the only thing I can really do is is leave it. You know, let's say it's people that I can't leave. Well, I can not allow myself to, to get pulled down into it. But these fives feel like they already happened. Because I feel like judgment wouldn't be calling you to the present moment. I feel like this is probably part of what has been healed. What you've been healing. Okay. 
Without six of wands on the bottom of this deck also. All right. I'm not quite done. So I'm going to bring out this little deck. Let's give it a couple shuffles. Let's give it a cut. And let's look at a couple things. I mean, right in the middle, you have the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, with the Knight of Cups, Unexpected Cup of Fulfillment, the Knight of Swords, some type of communication that's coming your way. Um, the Seven of Pentacles right next to it definitely feels like it, it's something it was meant to be. And, you know, maybe I'll appreciate it because I have been through hell, so to speak. All right, well, let's come down and look right at this King of Swords. You know, let's say this is an existing relationship. I feel like honest, truthful communication, um, you know, may help it. But listen, I feel like if it doesn't help it, that may be your answer also. But I really feel the majority of you, it's like you're in this single status. And, um, you know, you're not crying any tears because of it. And even more important, anybody who comes towards me, that their vibration be of a higher vibration than what I was normally pulled towards. All right, we have the Queen of Wands, the Ace of Cups. The Nine of Swords, Worry, the Three of Wands, the Devil, and then the Four of Wands. Interesting. And I'm really only looking at this King, and then we have, interesting, the Queen of Swords. So now, like-minded energy. Here is this Ace of Cups. And it does have the Four of Wands, which really does talk about a true commitment. You know, here's what I would say about this king. I definitely feel like there's love. And I feel like, um, I don't know, Sagittarius, I just feel like as love enters, it is going to look different, be different than your norm, like maybe like who you're normally attracted to. You know, it's interesting because the king brings out the Ace of Cups, and but also the Nine of Swords, and that's a lot of worry. But it really speaks about unnecessary worry. And, you know, what am I worrying about? Well, it's connected to the Four of Wands. So, can this be a true commitment? You do have the Three of Wands over here, so that's an optimistic view. And the Three of Wands is coming right over the Ace of Cups. So they're tied again. And that's all coming next to this King. So, you know, I have to say that I feel good about this King. Um, I feel this King may be different than your, you know, 
the person that you're normally attracted to doesn't mean they'll be unattractive or that type of thing. But there's something that's going to pull you to them other than looks. It's probably going to be like some type of chemistry. And I don't know, this feels like it's got the potential of being a long-term commitment. Just want to take one more. We have the King of Cups. So I'm just looking at the devil, which again is Capricorn. So for some of you, it could certainly represent Capricorn. But then we get the King of Cups. So here's what I'd say. Because I do feel like this is coming in. And... Um, I feel because there's a little worry around it, even though we do have that four of swords, right? Healing. It doesn't promise us that, that fear won't raise its ugly head again, especially if we've been through some difficult experiences, you know, difficult relationships. It makes sense that a little fear would raise its head. But again, that nine of swords is unnecessary worry. We want to make that clear, right? That is unnecessary worry. So I feel like there's two ways I can look at this, you know, through the three of wands an optimistic view. I'm going to live in the present moment and allow things to play out. And I feel like play out, they will. You know what I mean? I, I definitely feel like this is potentially someone that you may make a life with. Interesting. Okay. Um, let's look at this King of Wands, who I really feel is you, male or female, by the way, because this Knight of Cups is coming, you know, really, I know it is you. This Knight of Cups is coming right to you. And again, male or female. And when I say that, you know, like, there's a lot of time in, I'm in my masculine energy. Uh, versus my feminine energy. It's really something I have to remind myself of. So when I say that we carry both feminine and masculine energy, I mean it. And the sun is right there, and I can certainly talk about masculine energy. Um, so I just feel like that's you. Okay, well, what do I want to look at? It's like pretty clear to me. Let's come down and look at these two fives. Even though they are coming over temperance, your major arcana, by the way. And again, that five of pentacles can talk about things that happen outside of your control. Though I do have to say, I feel like in the five of pentacles, as we keep moving forward, we start to find our soulmate tribe so sometimes like what we had to let go of or what we were resistant of letting go of we figure out in the long run that it was a good thing and someone is carrying a lot of drama and i don't feel like it's good for you to get entangled in it quite the opposite we have the Five of Wands again. Mm. That kind of makes me feel like two people may be involved here. And it may simply be asking you to ask yourself, you know, what is this drama about? Why am I allowing myself to get pulled down into it? Am I assisting, insisting that someone apologize for their actions? Chances are I don't find it in that energy. Um, but in the long run, I figure out I didn't need it anyway. We have the four of swords, so healing over all that. Beautiful.
You know, it just feels like to me, Sagittarius, it's like your guy just saying, it's time to put the past in the past. You have grown and learned so much, especially through some of the most difficult times in your life. You still, you still grown. Um, you didn't allow yourself to get stuck in it for too long. You know, those who I feel like didn't love you in the way that you now know you deserve. I kind of feel like they're they're part of what's being eclipsed out. Um, you know, but I also I cannot not say that I feel like for some of you it is a healing of a relationship. But I feel like if it's a healing of a relationship, each side would have to un really understand, you know. Okay, I'm going to look at that Knight of Wands. Look at that. Brings out the Ace of Swords. So, to me, the Ace of Swords is a couple of things. First of all, it is my Yes card. Um, it definitely represents communication. It looks like it's coming directly to you. It is unexpected. Nonetheless, it's coming directly to you doesn't mean you can't be ready you might feel it you may just feel like something good's gonna happen because from this ace of swords we have the ace of wands and again from your tree of life well in the eight of wands what i think about i bring about well, they may they that may be bringing one of these pentacles to life we have one of them right here but then inspired action. So I feel like who's ever coming towards you, it does feel like they're coming of the light. And I feel like, you know, I definitely feel like you should be able to read energy by the, by just by looking at your reading and the things that you've been through. So I feel like if anyone, because sometimes, you know, someone good comes towards us. And let's just say, with all this heavy energy down here, let's, and the Ten of Swords, you know, but you're healing that. Um, again, let's just say it's a lower vibrational energy. And I feel like if that came back towards you again, you would know the difference. So you could have two people. One, listen, if, like, I feel like give each person time to reveal to you who they are. And maybe it's through their communication. Because I feel like if there's someone coming back in that put all these daggers in my back, um, and their energy really hasn't changed, but mine has, I can pick up on that so quickly. And I can shut it down. But I feel like this is talking about a love that's coming in that, does feel you know it feels very truthful very honest like very meant to be type of energy hmm. i don't know like i just don't know what else to clarify um It's going to go right below that. You know, you got the Ace of Cups. That's love. And I know part of it's love for what you do now. And that makes me happy for you. But I also feel like this is talking about romantic love. And, you know, for some of you, I feel like you may have been single for a little while. But being single is what's helped you to really overcome your past. To reflect upon it. And then put it to bed, so to speak. So it feels like now, like your energy feels ready for another's. 
especially in the Seven of Pentacles, because again, I feel like it's something it was meant to be. And, you know, uh, playfulness. So, flirt. It feels like it feels like it should be very fun. You know, it should be exciting and a little romantic, if not a lot romantic. You know, you also have very soon from the romance angels. We have the Ten of Cups. Wow. Ten of Cups. That's the house of love. That's the house of harmony. You know, it's interesting because you have the Nine of Cups. And I feel like I love the way the energy is reading. Because I feel like first having that Nine of Cups, that inner harmony, that, that really can only come from the healing of the past. And listen, maybe I can't control what another does, but I can control myself. And that's something that I'm learning. Um, so I feel like as I'm going through this, you know, I'm allowing my natural self to come out. Um, creating through my natural self. And I feel like, again, a love of what you do. Well, that makes sense that then, especially with temperance and judgment here, which are really the highest of divine energy, that they're ushering in this Knight of Cups. Um, I feel like there's nothing to fear here, right? And then the Ace of Pentacles literally says it's coming into your physical world. You know, it may start as communication first, and then you connect. If that makes sense, like, I don't know, like maybe like on social media, somebody reaches out and opens up a, a line of, of communication. And then that communication only goes deeper and deeper and more playful and more fun and more romantic. And I feel like just allow yourself to experience. Because again, I feel like if anyone's coming back towards you that carries deceitful, heavy type energy, I feel like there's no way they can get by you now. You know, it's almost like the Empress should be up, but I can feel the Empress's energy through your reading. And let's be honest, like this, this makes sense for divine timing. Because I feel like often temperance is waiting on us to just have a better understanding of the situations we've been through. Learning not to get stuck. You know, the devil's energy, can you can definitely feel stuck. A lot of times you'll see, and it, to me, it does relate to the lovers. But a lot of times you'll see like someone in a cage with the devil and... The illusion is that they're stuck in that cage. The, the, the door is wide open. I also love the sun behind this. So illumination, even though I don't, I may not see it. Look at that, the eight of cups underneath that. So let's just say, bottom line is that you're doing better. And therefore, I feel like your life is doing better. And I feel like the opportunities that and the people coming in feel also of, let's just say, an equal vibration. Again, I have you standing in this optimistic view. And then we saw that twice with this king. And again, I don't want to like just say it's going to be an air sign because, you know, that's not real life. This is certainly they could have air. I definitely feel like they know how to communicate. Um, you know, this king not only brought out the Ace of Cups, but now the Ten of Cups. So I feel like if anything, it is showing the potential. And I say the potential because there is free will. You know, even the greatest of love can sometimes fight and argue, but it's it's knowing like who you know, when do I stay, when do I go? And maybe before there was a lot of like 
staying and going and staying and going, but this feels much more grounded. So this feels like even if there's those ebbs and flows, which are just natural, that together we can get through them. And I feel like why, I feel like communication is important here. Because I don't feel like just this king really is a good communicator. I feel like so are you. And that's why I feel like people are looking to you more than ever before. You know, I want to say this month, but I feel like this is something that doesn't stop. And I also feel like take that moment to celebrate yourself and the things that you have overcome. Because, listen, I feel... I feel when you believe in the impossible, that the impossible becomes possible. But you have to believe in it. You know, it's almost like I, I, the three of wands, it's like I'm staying optimistic about my future. I just know, you know, it's like saying I expect good things to happen and then they do. And then they do. So, Sagittarius, this is a little bit of everything on the board, but the one thing it's really recognizing is how you yourself have grown. And I, you know, I, I just know that from your last reading, you know, how you have grown and how now what's coming towards you. You know, I feel, number one, you're better equipped to handle it. Like, I don't feel like you would run. Why? Because I feel like you're trusting yourself. You're trusting your own intuition. You're understanding that, you know, like that you're learning how to read people. So if anyone of a negative nature comes towards you, who wants to pull you down, I feel like you're done with that. Like I see the evolution of you. And therefore, I feel like now it's time for the things in your life to be also lifted. Okay, let's go ahead and read Grace from Mother Mary. Grace, you received this message because Mother Mary sees your graceful beauty and she wants you to help you and she wants to help you to see this in yourself too. This is Excuse me. This is a message about increasing your self-confidence and sense of self-worth. As you feel better about yourself, your actions will shift in positive ways, which will create a healthier climate for you and your loved ones. Today, envision how Mother Mary would handle each situation you face. Emulate her composure as you gracefully embrace everything that's coming your way. Your grace will naturally exclude a magnetism that draws wonderful people and positive experiences to you. Wow. So, just where I felt that, like people are going to be drawn to you this month, but I don't feel like it's just this month. Um... And I feel like for some of you, like, I want you to claim victory. Like, just claim victory. Doesn't mean life is over. Doesn't mean there's not. Uh, I feel like there's a whole new chapter opening up. And I feel like you have a lot of say so here. You know what I mean? Like, you have a lot of say so. So, anyways, I'm going to let that be. I want to say congratulations to those of you who really have taken the time to heal your past and not allow it to like have an effect of what your present or your future is going to look like. Be open, right? Be open because your spiritual team, you know, not just through temperance, but also through judgment, they're here. They're helping. They're helping to usher this in. That's what I feel the Ace of Wands is. You know, the Ace of Wands shows it's passion, it's desirable, but it's about taking action, reaching out and grabbing that Ace. Okay, I'm going to let that be, guys. Um, 
I definitely feel like this is an evolution of even last month's reading. So I feel proud of you. I don't know. Like maybe that's your spirit guides. But I feel this sense of being proud. Okay. I love you guys. I thank you as always. Um, I will be doing Gemini's reading after your reading. So you may want to check it out. I mean, that's completely up to you. Um, but to get a really good picture of oneself, I do feel like it's important that you watch the sun, moon, and rising. Because the sun really is about what you're showing the world. The moon is more about the inner you, those deeper feelings. You know, to me, the sun is like the makeup, the outfit I choose. But I can hide a lot within that. So that moon is your inner, just like the rising. All right, guys, um, I'm going to let that be. I love you. I thank you. And I will see you next time at our table. Bye-bye.